I am in the White House today, <laughs> and I am here with the other winners of the Google Global Science Fair, and we got the incredible opportunity to meet with the president for a few minutes and talk about science and where we're going in the future. When he first opened the door, like we all kind of got this feeling, it feels like you're looking at a TV screen. It's like, this can't be real. And when you realize it is, it's just, wow, it was very, very exciting. I talked to him about my research and he seemed really interested and that's one of the things that I was pleasantly surprised by, like how um, into science and technology and innovation he is and I think that's really important. The Google Science Fair is, this is the first time it's ever been done. It was an online fair and basically about 10,000 kids applied. This is about 7,500 projects. And the reason I entered this one was because it seemed like a creative take on science. It was very different than most science fairs I've been to because, first of all, this was international, so it was kids from all over the world. The projects that the U.S. did have were much more creative and made use of their materials much better and had a better application than the other ones from other countries. So I think it's interesting, it kind of suits the whole, you know, like, image of America, how, I mean, we might have the most people in it, but we're the most creative. My project is a new way to treat patients who have become resistant to a method of treatment for cancer. My project studied the effects of marinades on grilled chicken because when you grill chicken, there's actually a reaction that forms carcinogens, which can cause cancer. And my project studied the effects of compounds in marinades, and I found that certain compounds in marinades like lemon juice, brown sugar, or salt water actually will stop the reaction and prevent the carcinogens from forming. So my research focuses on indoor air quality, so the air quality in our homes, schools, and workplaces, and how that air quality and those airborne pollutants affect the lung health of asthmatic patients, and really anyone with a lung disorder. My grandfather passed away of COPD, which is a chronic, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, which is another lung disorder. And um, both my brother and my dad suffer from severe allergies. So it's something that started with a personal reason, but then I saw how many people were affected by this, and I really wanted to do something to help those people. The way I came up with it is a bit convoluted. When I was 15, my grandfather passed away due to cancer, and I became really interested in doing cancer research and going into the medical field. So I decided I would start early, and I started emailing all of these professors in my area and just asking to work in their lab. So this was me as a 15-year-old. And I was just asking to work at the graduate level in research labs, and I got rejected by all of them except for one who accepted me into her lab and she was a specialist in breast and ovarian cancer. So I went in, started doing background research, and this project kind of grew from there. My parents are my role models. Even though neither of them are in science, they are the ones that first got me interested in science. Like they're the ones that took me to museums, let me play outside, got me interested in, in the science world. Throughout my entire life, my parents, I've grown up with my parents telling me that America is the land of opportunity. And honestly, at this point, I can finally say I've experienced that firsthand. <laughs> because um, this Google Global Science Fair took students from 91 countries, and we were all competing against each other, but all three winners were not only women, but they were American women. And I mean, it just goes to show you that a lot of the things that we have access to, like internet and professors who are willing to open up their labs for high school students, those are opportunities in America. It's really great to see that the tides are shifting and women are entering the science field and the technology field. Um, and I'm really glad to be a part of that. I hope to create a group of like mentors so that people kind of are aware of this, um, I guess, uh, field of science and technology, and they're interested in it at a younger age. It was funny, like you come back and it's like, so how was the science fair? And it's like, well, I, you know, if you win your age group, it's like, that's so cool. And it's just neat because it wasn't just, you know, oh, that's science, ew. It was, I mean, they were excited about it. You might think that just because you're a girl, you can't do it, but you can if you try hard enough. I mean, it's no different than a boy doing it. Just keep trying, don't give up.